Yo. So, at Target, as I do, and they had the blind bags back out again. And last year, or last time they had these out, I think I tried the pop culture one. So I thought it'd be kind of fun. But this time we've got the gamer and the superhero. Uh, let's go with superhero first. I might have tried the superhero one last time. I honestly don't remember. So, uh, these were like 10 bucks each at Target. So collectibles, toys, secretly packed inside, blind bag, $25 worth of stuff. Um, yeah, and these are essentially courtesy of Loot Crate. Um, I think. Or at least last time we got one of these, there was a lot of Loot Crate stuff in there. NECA Online. So... Alright, so first in the bag, we have something cloth like. Oh! Bum bum ba dum! Superman socks. <laughs> They're good length ones. Actually, these are kind of cool. I may just keep those for myself. Reason I said it that way, I have a couple of godsons. Um, They're both under the age of 15. And they like superhero stuff as well, but I may just keep those for me and not give them to the boys. So, all right. So next on the list, uh, Marvel shoelaces. Oh, sneaker laces. So we can't really. Let's turn the flash on, shall we? Adjust some of the lighting. So these are Marvel. Get yeah, nice and close for those. Those are kind of cool looking, actually. Again, I'm probably going to keep these. You heard nothing. Um, for heaven's sakes. Um, yeah, and I don't remember how many it said it was there was supposed to be in here. Mm, yeah, it just says only 25 bucks worth. Now, anyway, okay, next on the list. Ooh. Captain America something or other. Captain America something or other. From BioWorld. I think this is, oh, it's a keychain. But it's Captain America. So. I mean, so far, I'm not mad at this. It's actually pretty freaking cool. I'm kind of loving that. Maybe I stick it up on the shelf behind me. Alright. Oh, it looks like... So, okay, so the superhero bag only has four things in it. Bummer. I have... Is this a paper wallet? <laughs> it's a paper wallet. Now this I might send off to the godsons for one of them. Make the challenge post it. Mighty wallet could feature you dare to tear. Show your side. Bat versus alien. Big cash in here on orders of thirty dollars or more. Oh, well, I was gonna hide this from you, but um, it doesn't really matter. Send. It's already expired. So if you had bought this years ago, you could have gotten five dollars off. Um, stuff from Loot Crate. However, this expired uh, May 31st of 2016. So. And then Mighty Wallet. Mighty Thin, Mighty Strong, Mighty Green. 
That's what's in here. So I don't know. Okay, so three out of four items. I can be pretty content with. From this bag. As soon as I can get things. As soon as I can get things put away. So. Yeah. I think the wallet will probably go to my godsons. I'm not sure which one would want it. Because one's... Well, they're both under the age of, of 15. Let's just go that way. All right. So, one bag done. Now, we'll fold thingies back up. We'll move it over here. Clear some space on the, on the thing. So, oh. oh, my food smells so good. Okay. Next one is the Gamer. So over $25 worth of toys and collectibles. Oh yeah, so would I say that one, the superhero one is 25 bucks worth? Yeah, I'd go with it. Because the keychain is probably, well, since it's metal, it's probably eight bucks on its, low, on its own. The socks are probably 10. The shoestrings are probably, well, they probably said five or six. And then the paper wallet. Oh, they probably said eight to ten bucks for the paper wallet. So okay, so let's get this one open. See if this one's see if this one's ugh, any good. Alright. So first <gasps> Are you kidding me? They put the tear higher than the actual glue. Naughties. Naughty, naughty company. Alright. Now this one feels fuller than the last one. What do we got? Includes collectible sticker. I see Assassin's Creed. Oh, it's an Assassin's Creed lanyard. Almost fell to the floor. Okay, so you get an Assassin's Creed collectible sticker. Ooh. Now it's got a little keychain on there. Actually, that's not bad. I I might just ask my boss about this. Um, yeah, because he likes Assassin's Creed. Alright. I was trying not to look at the bag as I put it in the chair next to me. So it wouldn't fall like the last one. So we have a something. We have a, Z ooh, a Zelda arm warmer. Loot Crate Exclusive. So, that's actually pretty cool. But again, I know somebody I could give it to if I decide I don't want to keep it. Alright. So, okay. So the lanyard. Lanyard's probably... If I had to guess, if I went to like GameStop or something, they'd probably say 10 bucks. The arm band warmer, they'd probably... If I went to like Hot Topic, they'd probably say... 5, 6 bucks. So let's just go high road or high end. Pardon me. So we're looking at 16 bucks already. Okay, so next. It's a thingy. I don't I don't know what this thingy is. But it has a battery. I can tell you that much. It looks very Pokemon like. Even though it's probably not Pokemon. I mean, just between the red and the white and the... That sounds more like Portal.
Let's see. And it is... Oh, Destiny. Do, do, do. So I was kind of right. I mean, I said portal, but it's just a portal. So, la di da. That's this one. I would love to give to my godsons, but they don't play Destiny. Not because they're not old enough for it, but because their grades are not good enough to let them play it. So, I don't know. Okay, and last item. Last item is a cloth something. <gasps> oh, Ready Player One. Oh, socks. <laughs> Ready Player One socks. These, I love that book. I have the second book on my shelf and I have yet to read it. That's, I'm horrible. The Bookworms Conundrum. We have all these books on our shelves that are like, we want to read this. And then we go out into the real world and go, ooh, there's more things. Okay. So that bag also had only four items in it as well. Oh, yeah. So we were at 16 with those two. This is probably, we'll go with five. So we're at 21. And then the socks. I know this. the socks, we're going to say, are 10 bucks as well. So, 31 bucks. Ah. Ooh, oh, and those are silkier. So we got the Superman ones, which are knit. And then these are really, really nice, heavy-duty, silky ones. Oh, I like these. Sock size, 10 to 13. Bonus. Yay! That means they're going to fit me. So. Yeah, so this was not. I'm so impatient. I always do that every single time. <sighs> right there where the tag was. So impatient. Oh, well, that'll probably fix. If I want, I'm trying to see how badly they. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So, uh, yeah. If you end up over at Target doing things and stuff, these aren't a horrible thing to to uh, jump in your cart. And, um, yeah, they, they had two other ones up there, too. They had the... They had Superhero, they had Gamer, and they had... Pop culture, which I almost grabbed another pop culture one, just to see if it might be any better. But I did that one last year, so I was like, no. And it's getting close to the holidays anyway, so I'm not supposed to be shopping for myself. But I was there for groceries and to get look at things for the godsons, because they like all this pop culture stuff too, and uh, wanted to see if there was anything... That looked interesting before uh, Black Friday. So, ooh, speaking of pop culture, I will share this with you. So, I went to Ghostbusters Afterlife on Friday. Got myself a happy little mug. Well, it's not little by any means, but... And they had some Stay Puff uh, marshmallow, like, popcorn bowls. They were kind of cute, but I couldn't justify the price on them. I'm like, no, no, no. I can justify the price on the mug. But uh, anyway, I highly, highly recommend y'all go see it. I love uh, original OG Ghostbusters. Adore it. Absolutely love it. And I got so into this movie that I forgot about my popcorn and my soda. By the first third of the movie, I had totally forgotten. Like, my hands were sitting there the whole time, either either clenched, doing something, or they were sitting, you know, right in front of my mouth, like a covered gas type thing. Oh, it was, it was fantastic. But, anyway, I won't go on and on and on about that, because the rest of the world is going on and on and on about it. So... 
Um, I had something else for you guys, too. Oh, yeah. I gave up on the Hello Kitty crate. I gave up on it, and I just, I, I reached out to Loot Crate over Twitter. I said, hey, I'm done with this. I don't even want it anymore. I've already canceled my Hello Kitty subscription. Just cancel the box and give me my money back. Okay. Uh, so I canceled it. And then as soon as I can find out some clues about January's Marvel gear and goods um, to figure out if I'm going to stick around for another year series or not, then we'll let you know about that. But uh, the FabFitFun box should be shipping here sometime soon. Um, probably over the next few, by the end of November. Um, oh, and the Christmas, the unplugged book box, Christmas box did ship out. It should be here sometime next week. Um, I did not buy the advent calendar for that one, mainly because they were sold out. They didn't lie. They sold out in like a day, not even a day, uh, because they released at 1 p.m. my time. And by the time I got off work at four, they were like gone. I'm like, jeez. So we have that. And otherwise, I got nothing else for you guys. 16 minutes. Pfft, not a bad video. So um, I don't know that I'll see you guys before Thanksgiving. But if I don't, I hope you ha I hope you guys have a good holiday. And if any of you are Black Friday shoppers. Please be careful. Please don't get killed and mobbed and mangled and all that good stuff. Um, maybe even be kind to other people. So, yeah. I'll see you guys when I see ya. Bye!